Despite what you may think, stress can actually have some positive effects on your health and well-being. A certain amount of stress can help to keep you motivated and focused. It can even improve your memory and cognitive function. So next time you're feeling stressed, remember that it's not all bad stress can be good for you. Given that this is, admittedly, somewhat abstract at the moment, let's add one more conceptual piece before diving into the practices that enable us to feel the mud's alchemy and how it truly can help us blossom. Stress can have both positive and negative effects on our bodies and minds. However, it is important to keep in mind that stress is a normal part of life and can actually be beneficial in moderation. Too much or too little stress can lead to problems, so it is essential to find a balance that works for you. If you are feeling overwhelmed by stress, many resources are available to help you manage it healthily. At the moment, I'm engrossed in a book by Nassim Nicholas Tully with the catchy title Anti-Fragile. I'm also interested in knowing how many of you have read or are now reading Anti-Fragile. I count one hand, then two. Perhaps my eyes have trouble adjusting to the darkness of space. It's fantastically insightful and fascinating, and it has a direct bearing on the topic at hand. The term anti-fragile was coined to contrast the opposite of fragile, which is defined as something that can be destroyed when it faces stress. Consequently, fragile things tend to fracture when there is disruption, disorder, or uncertainty. The structure is blown to bits. Therefore, if you are a delicate person, your cosmetics should be too. If you don't allow yourself to relax or break out of your habitual responses to pressure, you won't be able to cope well. Therefore, what is fragile is resistance to change and an inability to adapt. A person, a system, an economy, or even Mother Nature herself can be anti-fragile. If you're anti-fragile, you'll really thrive under pressure. Benefits can be gained through uncertainty, transition, disorder, and stress. It's like the mythical Hydra, which developed new heads after having a head severed. Maybe the Borge from Star Trek rang a bell with you. So, tell me, what went down with the Borge? The distinctive traits of anything that came their way were eagerly absorbed because that was their natural reaction. Really flexible. Therefore, an anti-fragile person responds to stress by adapting to it by hearing the message. Listening to the message can help us recall the details of our stresses and activate latent inner resources, allowing us to mature into resilient, adaptable adults. To be anti-fragile is to go beyond mere resilience. It implies a literal metamorphosis from mud to lotus. This agrees with a lot of conventional wisdom. It's not like this is breaking news or anything. Most people have heard some variation on the term adversity builds character. For situations like this, necessity truly is the mother of innovation. While it's true that too much stress can be detrimental to our health, it's important to remember that stress itself is not necessarily a bad thing. A certain amount of stress can be beneficial to our health, providing us with the motivation to get things done and helping us stay sharp and focused. Post-traumatic growth syndrome is a whole new field of study whereby researchers have found in every culture that they've researched. I'll list some post-traumatic growth in Palestine has survived terrorist attacks and Palestinians who were held in Israeli prisons and Turkish earthquake survivors, and Germans who survived the Dresden bombing. In addition, one researcher describes a growing trend among cancer survivors' spouses. But if you want to delve further than that, you can look at your own lives or the lives of individuals you know. Although this does not always occur, traumatic experiences can sometimes develop into post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, which is a very severe form of mental suffering. On the other hand, 
there has been a significant amount of research done on the ways in which traumatic experiences can lead to a sort of reckoning with one's life, a new sense of what is meaningful, a deepening of relationships that really calls on compassion, and so on. Thank you.